Hi, I just wanted to give a run through of the architectural model I made of uh, it's basically a 112 scale uh, model wood frame house. Uh, I basically did a, a wood framing course uh, a few years back and I decided that uh, I'd build a model just to refresh what I'd learned in the course so I didn't forget anything. Uh, basically I started off by designing the floor plan um, which is basically there so I just drew up a floor plan which I thought would be pretty good uh, then drew up all the wall plans put those on computer So I just drew one of those for each of the walls. Uh, designed and built everything to Australian standards, so all the spacing and the wood dimensions and all that sort of stuff between the wood and there's all lots of regulations that you need to uh, adhere to. We're all uh, done to Australian standards, which are all within this book here. Just uh, shrunk down so that they're 112 scale. Um, so I'll just uh, show you the house. Initially I had planned to finish it, do all the walls and roofing and that uh, and I actually have got all the material to, to finish it but decided if I did that it would just basically look like a dollhouse. Uh, you can see here I had the, had the doors and everything um, and the sash windows which actually work. So, But yeah, in the end I just decided to just leave it as an architectural model. Um, you can see the structure of the roof. Um, hardest bit was this conical roof. Uh, there was a lot of mathematics involved to work it out. In fact, the whole roof was the hardest part of the model. If you can just look through the house, Basically, looks like walking through a normal build of a wood frame house. Smaller. Actually, did put down the flooring, which is just balsa strips. I was going to polish them up. It actually, looked quite good. It looked like normal polished floor. You wouldn't just miniaturize. It's a shame I didn't get to finish that. But uh, you can see here the dormer windows. Um, just looking through here, see that, yeah, just look through here, this would have been like the uh, living room, and, uh, oh, what's that, it's my mini space invaders cab, <laughs> no I didn't build the house to be uh, the same scale as a mini cab, and actually this, this cab is the right scale to fit in this house, so. Quite coincidental, I didn't actually build it to be that scale, same scale as the house, but it actually, basically, it sort of is. I think the cab is about one seventh scale, one eighth. Uh, you can just see the roof structure. And the side. So yeah, it's basically it. it. Took a very, very, very long time to finish this architectural model. I'm not actually going to tell you how long it took, because you, it's quite embarrassing how long it actually did take. Actually, I get a lot of comments about when I'm going to actually finish it and put all the roof and all. I actually tell everyone it's a just an architectural model. Uh, and they keep hounding me. I tell them that. Uh, I can't find the contractors to finish it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's basically the whole, whole model. As I break everything behind me. Um, it did get attacked by the cat a few times. Had to fix a few bits. Cat likes to chew things on this model. He loves balsa wood. 
don't know if you can see that. You can see where he's chewed it. There he is there, working hard. That's bust. Or as I like to call him by his Italian name, Bastardo. <laughs> anyway, that's the model house. Fly by. Takes up a lot of space. Actually, he lives in the spare room. So an overview of the roof structure. Anyway, that is a 112 scale house built to Australian regulations, made out of balsa wood. Hope you enjoyed that.